What up with the Jones here? And I got a banger build. This build is like a offensive threat. This is that blue and green pie chart I told you about in one of my other videos. Now this video, I'm showing it at 99. I'm showing a 99 version of this build, a max potential offensive threat type build. This build can literally do it all, bro. This build can do everything. It can dunk. It get Hall of Fame contacts. It can shoot. Don't don't forget it can shoot. Look, they over think I can shoot. Hold on, look at Strong! They thought I couldn't shoot. I instantly pull because they not hip, man. They don't know what I am, man. When they see the name on the tag, they don't know what kind of build I am. Look, he over just now they press me. Like, oh no, nah. he hit a shot. Up, oh, got him with the curry slide. Strong, you know what I'm saying? Got him with the curry slide and we killed him. Now, now look, I got slasher take. They sagging. I'm about to drive anyway because I already know they ain't going to stop it. There's no stopping it. There's no stopping it once it has slasher take. Once again, he's in the paint. Little boy, get off the paint. Now, before we go any further, man, let me go ahead and throw a little quick shout out to my sponsor. This video is brought to you by SBD Play. SBD Play is a free sports betting app with real teams and real eyes. It ain't a fantasy league. You get 500 cash each week, play some money lion, your total wages of your NBA, NFL, NHL, or MLB game. Sign up for the free account and get $500 a week to bet with. Choose a league and make great picks with your virtual bank and find out who wins and do it again. You can earn up to like $500 in cash a week. That's some money you can throw on the VC. It's the best way to test your sports betting knowledge and strategies, man, without committing any real money. It's a risk-free environment. You don't lose any money to play. SBD is more engaging than real teams or real eyes. Now, I have to thank SBD for sponsoring the video. Now, go to the description box, click it, and sign up to play. Now, like I was saying earlier about this build, man, it's a drive killer. Now, the actual name is an offensive threat, but in the video, I'm going to show you what name you get out of this bill but i do know how to make a real offense threat so i may just include it in the end of the video just to show you how to really make one now look at this little boy look at the contact oh my god hit him with the spin bait he thought i was about to shoot well like, you know what? i thought about shooting but instead i went for the dunk man i want the dunk on him we get the ball again look he's in the paint doesn't matter another contact dunk animation i didn't actually dunk on him but i got a contact dunk animation as you see, this build, man, I'm telling you, this build is one of those, man. It was, if it ain't the play shot, then it's this one. If, besides, this is literally the only other PG build that you can probably make and be valid on. It's probably this or the play shot. That's it. And honestly, I mean, shoot, if, if it's put in the right hands, this can be almost as good as the play shot. Now, if you pay attention, you may notice that I use the shot stick on the layups. The shot stick is kind of overpowered, I found out. I found the shot stick is very overpowered. Look at this. <laughs> the stick Bruh. with the layups are overpowered and you get pro touch on it. Oh my God. It's literally toxic. Slash actually aren't bad. People just sleep. And yeah, they can't shoot as well as a play sharp. But you're going to have to play with stretches and sharp. That's the only way you're going to play. I'm literally playing with a stretch. And I pray with a lot that can shoot. But if you surround yourself with shooters, a slasher isn't bad in this game. I learned slasher are kind of OP in this game. If if used right. Look at it, they just leave me open. Of course I hit the white now because I'm in takeover. And my three-point rating goes up. We're gonna go, we're gonna talk about all that stuff when I show y'all how to make this build. Now look at oh now I want y'all to start calling me Air Jones. You know what I'm saying? When I'm on the slash and dunking on people, it's not slasher Jones, it's Air Jones. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm on Air Jones mode. I'm over here, like in the intro. I was dunking on people. You know what I'm saying? Air Jones. Look at look at Air Jones, bro. Oh my God, going crazy. Air Jones in the comments if you made it this far. And I kick it to the stretch, and he greens the shot. Now I'm gonna show y'all exactly how to make this build. We gonna talk about some things about this build, man. I gotta break it down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break this build down for y'all. Now, if you hear the PlayStation humming in the background, it's cause he mad cause I got the PS5. He'll leave me a little acting up lately. Like ain't gonna lie. PS4 gotta go. I already told PS4 your time has come. The PS5 is coming. I ain't gonna ever touch you again. And I think he kind of salty. So if you hear him in the background, that's tough. So anyway, check this out. So this is how you make the build, basically. All right, you wanna go PG. Now the build I played on was a shooting guard, but I recommend you go point guard. I definitely recommend for diamond floor because without it, your spotters ain't gonna be hitting like that. And you want your spot ups to hit. Now the build I'm playing, I was playing on was this one right here. The majority blue and some green. You wanna go ahead and click that one. 
Me personally, I always gonna choose speed because I feel like speed is just a little bit more important. I mean, you need it for speed boost thresholds. Speed in park is more relevant to me than strength or any other category. My personal opinion. Now you may feel another, you know what I'm saying, another way. But hey, do your thing. And the you already know how I do. <laughs> you already know how I do. Y'all already know how I do. Now check this out. This is the simple way how to do it. Okay? Let me see if I can get it. Low key, I probably do like this. I ain't gonna lie. Get a little bit more out of that. Probably get 17. Like y'all, y'all know how y'all are. Y'all build wars find ways. Y'all find ways to tweak it a little bit, get more of this, more of that. But this is what I'm gonna probably roll with right here. Alright. So you get 17 finishing. 16 shooting. 15 playmaking. 6 fin defense. I said finishing. You basically can do it all. Now to make the build complete. You have to do a certain height and you have to touch his arm a little bit. But overall, right now, it's not bad. You see, you can do everything. You're literally a middle guy. Here's the L, though. There's a couple L's. Number one, you're a, you're a slasher first. Sharp, you're the second. Which means you're not, a, you're not split. You're more of a slasher than a sharp. But you can shoot. So let's get into how to make it. So I recommend you go 6-4. Drop the weight get faster and put that arm up all right right till it's like right here or there let me see you need to have i don't think you can do it right here for real for real but if you want it quicker i'll probably do this i'll probably do this so you're gonna end up with an 85 ball handle to get this you know what i'm saying the cheese stuff you get an 82 driving dunk, so you don't have to be a 99 to do it if you do this. You could do this, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it don't matter, bro. It's, it's one of these two. They all, they, don't nothing really change right here besides standing dunk, so. Oh, I just went up one more. So, three-pointer would be like an 80, 81, which I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be hard to shoot with the 81 if you give the slasher take. If you give this Bill Slasher tape, it's gonna be kinda tough to shoot with it. I'm not gonna lie to you. In the beginning, like you're gonna have to get some takeover to hit threes. Because it will not let you pop like that if you pick slasher tape. Now if I'm making the build me person, I'm giving it sharp take. Now the reason why, you need that extra shooting in this game. This game won't let you just shoot with any rating. Sharp take is gonna take you to that next level with this build to be more consistent. The build I played on has slash. Yes, it's gonna give me more dunks. It's gonna be better overall. But I mean, you're not gonna get no shooting boo. You just they'll stand in the paint. And you'll be missing shots. <laughs> Literally, because the only at 99 you only got an 81 three ball. You need like an 85. Remember, slash. But sharp take. You shoot. You hit like one shot. You good, bro. It's good if you run this build with somebody with floor too. If you run this with somebody that has floor, you are you can roll with slash or take. Cause at that point your three be like an 84, you cool. But I noticed when I didn't have anything on my takeover, it was a lot harder to shoot than when I was at the O, around the O range. When I was around the O range, I'm green and left and right. But soon before the O, I have a hard time. The window's tiny. So I'm definitely going sharp take. And you're gonna get this ugly name of a slasher. Now, the reason they were leaving me open is because I was a slasher with slasher tape. So yes, everybody's going to leave you open. Now, if you run a lock with floor, you're cool. You can go get the slasher version and completely clickbait everybody, confuse everybody. But I definitely would pick sharp take. I mean, play take isn't bad. Play take's not bad to help some people hit, but you need, you gotta have takeover to make people hit, number one. And number two, and, and, and ankle breaker don't even work right now. Now, if they win this past three, we don't know. Shoot, past three could drop a week before PS5 come out or after. You know what I'm saying? We don't know. So we have to go off of what's best now, and that is sharp. That's the build. Now, as a bonus, I'm going to show y'all how to actually get a build called offensive threat. Just in case. Now, it's a play sharp. Now, I'm going to help y'all out. It's completely bonus, unrelated to the video just to help y'all out because somebody's pissed that they didn't see offensive threat all right so just because of that i got you bop 
Now you want now when you make this offensive threat, you gotta have close shot on. You have to. That's the only way you're gonna get the name. You can literally do anything with these stats. I'm just making it really quick to show you. I right, you if you want more playmaking, let's do you can do whatever, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how y'all are. But the best way to make it is probably 6'3 or 6'4. I mean, you know what I'm saying? More between those two. But I definitely recommend 6'3. I definitely think you should put him 6'3. It's probably the best. If you're gonna make an offensive threat, 6-3, you gotta put the arm to this, like right at 85 close shot, 84 three-pointer. You have an 86, you do this, give a sharp take probably because your three ball got dropped and you get an offensive threat. That's how you get a real offensive threat. Just in case somebody's gonna feel butter. But hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video. Sub if you new. Let me know what other builds I want to see. Uh, whatever content I want me to see. So I'm just gonna give you, you know what I'm saying? Give y'all what y'all want next to 2K21 next gen. Where we're gonna be the real turn up. The real turn up. To next video. I see y'all then, man.